Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. Hey, hey, hey. Hey everybody, it's Alma. So we are doing a meal prep, guys. I cooked yesterday a bunch of bacon. So this is one full package of a three pound bacon. Also cooked up some pork gel and this has been depleted significantly since yesterday. So clearly David and Matthew got into that. I already have a batch of wings. Check those out, guys. Oh my gosh, if you've not made chicken wings, especially these wingettes in your air fryer, yeah, you gotta try them, guys. So got some wings cooking and then let's head over to the stove top. On the stove top, I have some hamburger patties being cooked. Um, and I also pulled out this ground meat from the freezer, cooking that up. Froze the leftovers of my mirepoix and I will be using that to cook up this ground meat. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna head to the store, get some cauliflower, and I'm gonna make some shepherd's pie. And that will be on a upcoming recipe. So day one of meal prep is almost done. Check it out here, we have some wings. Here we have two patties. The other two are right here. That's gonna be part of dinner tonight. I had to transfer my pork jowl into a smaller container because as I was preparing today's meal prep, my son kept on getting into that. Then this is going to be part of a dinner tomorrow, guys. Um, I am going to be making some shepherd's pie. So you'll see a recipe for this tomorrow. Here is the bacon drippings from yesterday. Here's all the bacon. Here's the last package of wings that I have. And check this out, guys. Look at these wings. This is from the air fryer. I cooked this between 320 and 355 degrees for about 36 minutes. Guys, check it out. Duh, deliciously good. Look at that, yum. Hey everybody, it's day two of meal prep, meal prep. Today, we're gonna make a few more meat patties. Matthew loved the protein burgers, asked for two more today, so I'm making some more patties. I am making um, some breakfast for Matthew and also some more wings. <laughs> I made three packages yesterday. He went through the majority of those. All right, guys, so here we go. Let's get started. We have the meat patties and cheese going. These are almost ready. I cooked up a little bit of bacon. Now I'm gonna mash in the chorizo as well as the sausage. And we're just gonna have some type of big giant breakfast mash. So I use the Syracuse uh, ground pork as well as this treat. So it'll be this, the bacon, the eggs, and a little bit of cheese. That's it. I'm not putting in any veggies in here. Make it, both, make it more about the protein and the fat. Y'all, do y'all laugh every time I say, hey guys, or okay guys. It's, I don't, I'll work on it, <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyways, so we have got the meat cooked up and now I'm adding a little bit of cheese and got, <laughs> and guys, and guys, we, what we're doing is just trying to always use what we have in our fridge. Let me show you what I did with this. So I have this cheese here. I know, use your block cheese when you can. Um, I'm just trying to use what I have. So there's three ounces of this Mexican cheese. There's three ounces of this pepper jack cheese, which uses up this container. And then I had a little bit of the cheese that is the pepper jack cheese from Aldi's. Let's get this mixed up. The meal prep is done and quite frankly, I should be making my shepherd's pie, but guys, I'm tired. So I am wrapping up day two of meal prep. And let me tell you guys, this doesn't seem like a whole lot, but it is such a time saver. Put in the hours, one day, two days, however many you have to, and the rest of your week is such a breeze, guys, truly. So you'll see I made four burgers. Hmm. This is yesterday's leftover from meal prep, and these are today's. What happened? Matthew, he had lunch. And then um, I have wings. Hmm, two of those are missing. He had that. So he had two burgers and wings. He's, and then I have my eggs and you can see, oh, look at that. That is the nice fat that's in there, guys. That orange, that orange is the nice juicy fat. So I didn't remove any of the grease when I cooked this and it is going to be a delicious meal. I actually use some of the pita wraps that I purchased to put in there. We'll see how all that goes. Anyway. Meal prep, guys. If you have kids, this is way more affordable than Wingstop. Delicious food, but way more affordable. And of course, your burgers, delicious any day of the week. So it doesn't have to be fancy, guys, every week. You can do the deli wraps that I showed you. Check in the upper right hand corner for a link to that. You can do the arroz con pollo. 
If you want to have something a little more extravagant, check in the upper right hand corner for a link to that as well. So guys, just do your meal prep. It's a time saver. It's a wonderful thing to do. If you don't want to get up in the morning and fix breakfast for your husband, here you go. You got it. Tell him, grab a flatbread, make it, and he's good to go. Or if he wants a late night snack, he can grab a couple of wings, a meat patty, throw some mayonnaise on it, good to go. <laughs> All right, guys, have a blessed day. Tell me what your favorite thing is to include in your meal prep. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye. Choice Wednesday, it's Onido. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rinds, pork rinds, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah. Like teeth. <laughs>